This week on Raiders Talk of the Nation, Raider Nation rides hard away from home. Just win, baby. Just win, baby! And they come from all over the country, but now the cast of The Challenge is checking out Allegiant Stadium for the very first time. Are we a Raider fan treat? Raiders for life. Raider for life. Born in Oakland. Raider for life. Plus, there are some of TV's most popular faces. Women in sports, they aren't just like an additive group. We are necessary to sports. We make it better. We make it smarter. We make it more thoughtful. So that makes me happy. Find out the one thing they all have in common. Well, Raider Nation to me is family. I love the Raider Nation. I love the organization. I love how the Raiders have always just been so welcoming um, and the way they treated me. Now on Raiders Talk of the Nation. There's nothing I love better than fall, and if you're a sports fan like I know you are, you're loving it too. What's going on, everybody? I'm Sibley Scholes, and while many people are glued to their TV sets for some football action, the fall also means the return of basketball, hockey, and college football, leaving no shortage of teams to cheer for. And I got to catch up with a friend who's well-versed in all of it. He holds many titles, author, sports commentator, former NBA point guard that holds two back-to-back -back championships, but to many, he is simply known as the Jet. Kenny, we are rolling. This is your second Raiders game, right? No, actually third. Oh, third, third game. Now, as a friend of yours, how do I not know that this is your third? Because the first one, I didn't ask you for tickets. <laughs> I know you had a book come out. Do you, should we should we get into a deep dive on the book? Well, talker champions, we could talk about it, but we had to talk about the Raiders being talker champions. He's got it right here. How do you have a copy of this right here? What are you doing? Wait, wait a minute. Oh well, we talk about talker champions, but this could be talker champions. Having to go into it too too detailed. You are a champion yourself. You are a legend in the game. You do so much more than that outside of sports talking about it, seeing your son doing what he's doing. How proud of a dad are you? And then also just watching the growth that you're experiencing as a dad as well. Well, for me, it's just, you know, as a dad, it's just gotta, you're like an Uber service. You gotta just be there. Pick up, drop off, cheer, leave. Pick up, drop off, cheer, leave. It's like everyone who has kids understands that. It, there's nothing you could do, it's uncontrollable other than support and understand that you, you're there for the support system. So when they fall back, you just here to hold it. Make sure they're good. Exactly. There's gonna be failures, but you gotta learn from the failures and you help with the wins. <laughs> <laughs> Learning from the failures, help with the wins. For you personally, what is your going into certain things? When you were playing, even going into when you're commentating and you guys got to have fun on the show, what is your mentality to continue to be the best that you can be? Well, for us, the game itself that we cover we, we just try to get out of the way. Let the players be the stars. We just evaluate what they're doing. We, we give expertise in terms of why they do things, not always how they do it, but why they made that decision. And if you do that, then I think it's easier because the game itself, you got the greatest players in the world. So you don't have to do too much, but just, uh, just tell people how they did it and not why all the time. Talk to me about community and how much that is a part of your life and giving back as well. Giving back is, 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 is a natural, I think a natural transgression for me only because someone gave back to me. So I understand the concept based off of, I was a recipient of it. So being a recipient of it, sometimes you don't even, people say, oh, Kenny, you do a great job of giving back or whatever, but you don't even think you're giving back. It's just a part of your norm, it's your routine because you've been a recipient of that and you just think that's the way the world works. You know T.I. is halftime today. It's 50 years of hip hop. I know you've been celebrating. I know you come from being on the East Coast. East Coast kid. Do you have a favorite hip hop record that stands out to you that you still play to this day? Well, I, I'm Notorious B.I.G. is my favorite of all time, but I'm, I've been in Atlanta a lot, our studios. T.I., T.I., no, that's my guy. What you know about that? Like, T.I. is my- Hey, give me that line. T, what you know about that? That's my guy. You got you a jersey last time. Yeah. We know you played football. Yeah. You said you didn't want to get tackled. You weren't down for all that stuff when you played, you know, playing. But what position would you play if you were in the NFL? If I was in the I'm a quarterback. I'm a, I was a point guard in basketball. I'd be the quarterback. You know, I like, I like to know where everyone is on the field. 
That I've always liked to do that. Not the fact that I like to instruct them, but I just want to know where everyone is, especially if they're, wait, especially if they're hitting, I need to know where everyone is. And later, we're getting more sports insight from the pros with a familiar face from Thursday Night Football. It's really rooting for the Raiders because I had a Devontae Adams interview. I'm a huge Devontae fan. But first, I want to welcome you guys to the fourth annual Raiders Girls Empowerment Summit. And up next. It's not always about winning, it's about community. Raiders! There's more to come right here on Raiders Talk of the Nation. The Las Vegas Raiders and Allegiant Stadium have elevated and expanded their premium suite offerings. Individual rentals are now available for the 2023 Raiders regular season. Create a memorable experience for your top clients or come celebrate a special occasion in an all-inclusive club suite. Reserve your spot by visiting Raiders.com slash club suites or scanning the QR code on the screen. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Powered by Cox, a proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders Nation, baby, is how we do it. When you see that shield, what does it represent to you? Family, camaraderie, you can go anywhere where there's Raider fans, you're welcome, Ben. Because you're part of Raider Nation, you hold it down for so long. Is there anything you want to say to everyone else out there? It's about community. It's not always about winning, it's about community. Raiders! For any player, looking up and seeing fans in the stands during away games is always a much needed boost. And for women looking to break into sports, seeing and hearing from others who are finding success in the field is nothing short of inspirational. guys to the fourth annual Raiders Girls Empowerment Summit here at, as we said, the stunning Intermountain Health Performance Center. Raiders team president, Sandra Douglas Morgan. Being able to, one, even have flag football and play it at a high school level and be able to compete was something that was not offered to us. So you guys are now seeing the benefits and the fruits of the labor of so many women fought so hard for so that you guys could actually be able to play, right? And play on a competitive level. Yeah, I'm really hoping it gives them just additional perspective on the different opportunities after their athletic careers. Just hopefully giving them another a lens, another path of different options that they have. We want people to have as many options as possible, which really will, you know, kind of enhance their ability to be successful. There are times where you have to make sure that you're present for those that are working with you and you're collaborative with those that are working with you because that's how you get buy-in and that's how you get people to believe in your process. It's important to understand the culture because we work with different players and scouts and those things and you know there's a culture that goes along with it and it's important to me to understand that. Of course I understand the business side because that's the world I, that I came from. Well, the thing that we try to instill in them is that anything is possible. Having the opportunity and people believing in them that they can do the job, whatever it is, whether it's behind the scenes or head coach in a male-dominated sport, but I think women are proving that they can do just about anything. As the daughter of a top rushing leader, the niece of a Hall of Famer and former NFL player, you could say Taylor Rooks was destined to find her way into sports. Just two months out of college, the dazzling on-screen personality found herself as a host for the Big Ten Network. Now she's paving her own path as a Thursday night football correspondent and hoping to inspire others. Plus, she is not afraid to admit she's rooting for one of the Raiders' star wide receivers. Okay, Taylor Rooks, we're here. I have admired you from afar for so long. Oh my goodness, thank love you. Love the interviews, loving everything that you're doing, and just being a woman in sports to be able to see you now in person. So thank you. It's nice to see you. You bring in the energy, the color to the carpet. I'm we're trying. You. The sweat is happening underneath, but we're good. Um, I'm here with the Raiders. I do a show called Raiders Talk of the Nation. I know you talk everything sports. Um, what are your thoughts right now with where we are, or do you have any? It's really rooting for the Raiders because I had a Devontae Adams interview. I'm a huge 
huge Devontae fan. He was so gracious in that interview. So, you know, you kind of like latch on to players that were just great in your interview. So I root for him. So I in turn root for the Raiders. As a woman in sports, seeing the progression, seeing how many more women are coming into this, no matter what sport it is, how happy does that make you? And, and how much do you feel of like, you know, when you're in a position, you want to give back and, and teach what you've learned? Yes. I mean, honestly, nothing makes me happier. I just think it's really great that we're in this moment where there are so many different women. Even, you know, years and years ago when you would see women in sport, it was always the same type and it was hard for you to see yourself in them. So the fact that you can really, really connect with so many different women is beautiful They're for girls and boys coming up that want to be journalists so I just think there's obviously a long way to go but I think people are understanding that women in sports they aren't just like an additive group we are necessary to sports we make it better we make it smarter we make it more thoughtful so that makes me happy coming up well the challenge is all about pushing yourself as far as you can and then just a little bit more. It's the battle for a new champion. We want to get all these guys and girls to just do stuff that they would never do in a million years and give them a lot of money for doing it. And later. To play for the Oakland Raiders and then to see the change to the Las Vegas Raiders, it's it's outstanding. So always a Raider. Let me tell you why I love the fact that I'm a part of the Raider Nation forever. Raiders Talk of the Nation will be right back. This segment has been brought to you by Modelo, brewed with the highest quality ingredients for a taste that's pure gold. Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Welcome back to Raiders Talk of the Nation. As a former pro football player who also donned the silver and black back in 2003, Akbar Bayabijamila now brings his perspective on the game to the NFL Network. But if that wasn't enough, you can also find him as the co-host for American Ninja Warrior and as a co-host on The Talk. Still, all these years later, Akbar says the shield still holds a very special meaning. I'm gonna introduce myself in a way that the Raider Nation has never heard. This is your boy, Akbar Oluwakemi Idowu Baja Bia Mila. Number 94. Number 94. <laughs> you are here, you are here, okay. Yeah. We worked together before. Yes, we did. The world knows who you are yes. from on the field, off the field. After you have this career in the NFL, you go on and you find that next chapter for yourself. Yeah. But that football never leaves you. Yeah. That passion, that heart. No. Is it cool to see what the guys do afterwards, especially yourself? Yeah, it is. You know, I, I will tell you, the, probably the most inspirational um, for me was Michael Strahan. And seeing, and even before Strahan, you had Tiki Barber. Oh, yeah. Who, you know, who made that transition. But it was Michael Strahan who really Really helped open up the door for me. I remember when he was doing, you know, Kelly, M Michael, and Ke or Kelly and Michael. Yep. And he was doing Good Morning America as well. Um, and he, I called him up, and I didn't know Michael. I, I didn't know Michael like that. We were familiar, kind of familiar with each other, but I didn't right. know him like that. And I said, "Hey, could I shadow you?" And he goes, "Yeah." He's like, "No one's ever asked me that before, but right. yeah, I'll shadow you." And so, uh, or he allowed me to shadow him, and I went and just I met him at his penthouse um, in New York, and I drove with him and just saw how the whole thing, the whole day, and I just thought, and it was wow. to me, it was a, it inspired me, and yeah. b, it taught me what I needed to to be prepared for. Um, and you know, five, six, seven years later, you know, I, I was able to make that uh, that change. That's an amazing yeah. story. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's nice to be able to have those people in your life that you can actually do that because you, I'm sure he, you sure. didn't know what he was going to say when you asked no, that. No, I thought he, I, you he know, to said, be honest with you, he could have big timed me. He could have big timed me. Like, well, I don't know you. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh, I'm not, yeah, yeah, but in Australia, I was like, come on. And I, I mean, I met him, I want to say like two days afterwards. Right. I was in New York uh, shadowing him for the whole day. He gave me. I mean, full access to everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you find the transition hard for you? Were you nervous at all, even though you did have that chance of shadowing with Michael when you first got on camera? Was it? It was still hard. Yeah, it was yeah. still hard. I go back to my very first day at uh, on American Ninja Warrior and how challenging that was. Uh, when you're trying to find your voice, because sometimes, you know, you're doing football your whole life. For me, it was my whole life. Right. And um, I only heard what broadcasters sounded like. I didn't know what it was like. So you immediately go into this thing where you try to sound like everyone else, yes. right? And yes. so you are trying to find your identity. And um, I felt like I wasn't good enough and all this other stuff. And 
Oh, uh, so season season five for me, which is my first season on, on Ninja Warrior, uh, it was cringy. I still don't like listening to it because it was like it was so cringy. You're like, please don't but pull up the old tapes. <laughs> yes, but I but I did grow from it. I grew from right. it. I found my voice. I found myself. Yeah. Um, and now eleven years, I've been hosting American Ninja Warrior. Now you know, then moving into doing the talk show, the talk. Yeah. Uh, so it's been it's been a great ride and journey. I want to take it back to uh, the Raiders Raiders for a very quick moment because I know you're a busy man. You have to get out of here. You've been to a Legion. You've seen how amazing that stadium is. Um, any thoughts right now for the organization itself? I think we'll be all right. I mean, yeah. we got top dog, wide receiver. We got, you know, leading rusher and yeah. in, in, in Josh. So I think we're not that far away. As a Raider, when you see the shield um, still to this day, yeah. what does it mean to you? And what is the the fan base? Because I know everyone still comes up and says hello. They're yeah. going to forever do that. But what does Raider Nation mean to you? And when you see the shield? Well, Raider Nation to me is family. I love the Raider Nation. I love the organization. I love how the Raiders have always just been so welcoming um, and the way they treated me. Like, I, And I'm not trying to say, you know, it's not like I had a big, you know, Raider career, but I was a Raider first and foremost. Yeah. And the way the Raiders have always embraced me. Let me tell you why I love the fact that I'm a part of the Raider Nation forever. I mean, I've got love because I used to, I started off my fandom with the Raiders started by the, my book covers when they were the Los Angeles Raiders and they used to put, you probably, you might not remember when I'm we used to have book covers. I remember. But we have book covers <laughs> and uh, yeah, but the Los Angeles Raiders and then to play for the Oakland Raiders and yeah. then to see the change to the Las Vegas Raiders, it's it's outstanding. So, well, listen, yeah. once a Raider, always, always a, a Raider. Raider. Yeah. Thank you, you so growl? much. Do you have the growl? Do you know the Raider growl? Do, do it for me. The Raiders. Scooby, you gotta get your growl game up. When I first started, I was saying, you know, I've like, never seen it that hard. I don't, I don't think I have it in me. I will get better at it for y'all, okay? Raiders. Still to come. The vibes and the fans, the fans here. I mean, this this stadium is on fire. So, I mean, this I love it here. Raiders Talk of the Nation is back after this. This segment has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. 60 years in the making, the Raiders now have a permanent place to call home, and the doors are open to get a world-class behind-the-scenes tour of their new home. An attraction unlike any other in Las Vegas, Allegiant Stadium. The Las Vegas Raiders invite you to experience the expertly guided tour that includes exclusive access to areas restricted to only football players, coaches, and staff. For more information, visit AllegiantStadium.com forward slash tours. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Allegiant Air, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights, Book now only at Allegiant.com. Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Raiders. Intermountain Health, the official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at Raiders.com forward slash champ. What's your favorite thing though and the consistent thing for you? Oh, 100% the tailgating. The tailgating in LA a few weeks ago was just one of the best things that we experienced. Let's go! When you see the shield, what do you think? Oh, just win, baby. Just win! Raider Nation, come out and support your team travel. We do it well. There's only one nation, Raider Nation, baby. Yeah! What is that one thing that can bring 24 cast members together after battling it out in a game of wits, strength, and deception? How about a little Raiders football? I caught up with the cast of The Challenge as they stopped by Allegiant Stadium with host and Vegas local TJ Lavin to see what scoop I can get on the season. You have five minutes. Whoever has the least amount of empty space in sport draw blocks is our winner. Allegiant Stadium is good, but it just got better because I'm with everybody from the challenge. TJ, Vegas native, right here now. We're well, living here, right? You are with everybody. The gang is here in the building, MTV. What is the feeling right now seeing the game? I love it. I, I mean, it feels so awesome having all my people that I never see in the United States actually in my hometown. It's pretty cool. 
and it feels a lot different looking at the stadium from here, and it's happening. I like it. Hike is not bad. We're so close. We can see everything. Okay, we got to introduce who I'm with. Casey, Nuris. Derail. Raiders! For those who might be hiding under a rock and do not know what the challenge is, let Raider Nation know what it is about, what it stands for, and what you guys are doing today. Well, the challenge is all about pushing yourself as far as you can, and then just a little bit more. So that's the idea. It's like, we want to get all these guys and girls to just do stuff that they would never do in a million years and give them a lot of money for doing it. Oh, wow. Uh, can I sign up? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. Can you swim? Yes. I can. I can, I'll do it all. And you said money and I said yes. I was the only one who was fighting for you. <laughs> we see the team out there. They are strong. Raiders bring it all the time. You know most of the guys. If they were in the challenge, who do you think would be the top winners? I mean, Max would kill it. There's no doubt about it. Like, Max is the guy and he would absolutely dominate everyone everywhere. And Hall Brawl against anybody, even two or three dudes at once would get smoked by Max. We love you, Max. Darrell's getting owned, as am I. I mean, Max can host the show, it's all good. <laughs> okay, before we get out of here, we gotta run. You got the Raider Nation chain on, you're decked out. Are we a Raider band treat? Raider for life, Raider for life. Born in Oakland, Raider for life. Baby, I'm Oakland everything, yep. A's, Raiders, Warriors, I still rocks with everybody from Oakland. Okay, what about the two of you? How are we feeling? Just give me the energy of the game right now. Honestly, I'm just glad to be here on a great energy. The fans are amazing, but I'm not much of a football fan, so I don't really have a favorite team. You do now, it's the Raiders. <laughs> Well, first of all, it's my first time in this stadium. It's beautiful. The vibes and the fans, the fans here, I mean, this this stadium is on fire. So, I mean, this, I love it here. As you saw, it really doesn't matter where you come from or what sport you root for. Football can unite all of us. And as always, it's such an honor to be here with each and every one of you every single week. Raider Nation, thank you from the bottom of my heart for riding with me. I'll see y'all here next week for more Raiders Talk of the Nation.